The 1933 Savoy was at one end of the main shopping thoroughfare, the embassy at the other. The embassy opened in May 1938. Both cinemas were operated by Shipman and King. The embassy, like the Savoy, seated 1,000. In the auditorium, the splay walls had a fibre grill effect, which was a well-known characteristic in many of Shipman and King's theatres. The Fairham Embassy was designed by David Nye. Not all Shipman and King cinemas were new properties. At Berkhamsted they took over the 1917 built court in March 1930, then in 1934 modernised and enlarged the cinema from 624 seats to nearly 1,000. A Christie three manual six rang organ was installed at this time only to be recited at Waltham Cross three years later. The Rex Berkhamsted opened in May 1938 and the architect was David Nye. There proved to be insufficient room for a cafe in the Circle Lounge and so the rear stalls area was reduced to provide the necessary space. A very unusual result was that the Circle had more seats than the stalls. Total seating was 1,100. More than a year was to elapse before the next and final pre-war Shipman and King cinema was to open. This was at Crawley and opened in August 1938. The Embassy was another venture shared with H. Bancroft of Reigate and the architect for Crawley was Robert Cromie. This cinema seated 1,014 which is a very large number for the small township that Crawley was in 1938. Shipman and King's advisers must have been blessed with prophetic vision when they decided on this country location, for Crawley is now a very important town close to Gatwick Airport. The Riverley Ricelip opened in September 1929 with 757 seats. It was taken over by Shipman and King together with the Astoria. This seated 800, was renamed Embassy in April 1967, had a new facade, but was closed in November 1981 and demolished. The Astoria Ashford opened in October 1939. It was a very modern looking property, in many ways similar to a purpose-built Odeon. The Astoria was owned by Perrin and Perrin, but Shipman and King took it over in 1948. The Astoria closed in 1975 and was converted to bingo. As a cinema, it used to seat 1,140. In 1965, Sam King let it be known that the Shipman and King circuit was up for sale. And in 1967, it was taken over by the Grade brothers, Bernard Delfont and Lou Grade. The Astoria at Purley opened as an independent cinema in April 1934. It had a chequered career, being subjected to barring clauses by Croydon and Caterham, and was opposed by an ABC-operated Regal, half a mile down the Brighton Road. The Astoria had been designed by F.C. Mitchell and seated 1,550. It had a cafe and a small Compton organ opened by Robin Richmond. It was taken over by Shipman and King in February 1949. Twenty years later, in 1969, EMI, the old His Master's Voice record company, through the ambition of the Grade brothers, Bernard Delfont and Lou Grade, who were now on the EMI board, took over the Associated British Picture Corporation. Associated British Cinemas and Shipman and King were now effectively one company. <laughs>